Hi, my name is Veronica, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> That was very good. Let's let's do just maybe one or two more, okay? Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? You know, when I first looked at this picture that you guys are looking at on the screen, I thought that was Deontay Water talking to Charles Barkley for a minute. Then I realized it was the Polish contender, Adam Konoski. Adam is coming off of a unanimous decision win over Chris Ariola, and the fight put up some really good numbers on PBC and Fox. 1.7 million fans tuned in to watch the fight. And that's pretty impressive for a fighter like Konoski, who a lot of people don't even know. This just further proves um, PBC and Al Heyman continue to dominate the ratings when it comes to boxing. No network is doing the combined numbers that the PBC cards are pulling in. So this is a good look for boxing. This is a good look for Konoski. And as you guys can see in this video clip right here, Konoski, he pulled in a lot of Polish fans. You know, it's crazy because the heavyweight division is so stacked right now. It's such an exciting division. It hasn't been this exciting probably since Riddick Bowe and Holyfield were running the heavyweight division or even Lennox Lewis. And now the heavyweight division has this new version of Andrew Galata. Andrew Galata was a really good heavyweight. He was from Poland, but he looked like Ivan Drago. And as crazy as it sounds, he kind of actually fought like the character Ivan Drago. He gave Riddick Bowe all types of fits, but he couldn't beat him because he got disqualified twice against Riddick Bowe for throwing low blows. Then Andrew Galata, he went on to get knocked out by Lennox Lewis. He had a no contest with Mike Tyson got knocked out by the undefeated Michael Grant, and it was just all downhill from there on. So now the new Andrew Galata, Konoski, he's already focused on getting a shot at Deontay Wilder's title. Konoski, who has a very relentless, aggressive style, he's not really known for his defense. I told you guys in my post-fight video, his offense is his defense. Matter of fact, when he was asked after the fight, after beating Ariola, doesn't he think he needs to improve his defense if he's going to step up in competition? And Konoski's manager, he said that Konoski is going to walk through Deontay's right hand and then knock him out. Now, there's no doubt Konoski has a great chin, but I'm going to tell you right now, that would be a horrible game plan going up against Wilder. Because your defense damn near needs to be flawless when you're going against Wilder. All he needs to do is land that right hand one time. If you're leaving yourself open to get hit with countless right hands, there's a very good chance you're gonna end up on Deontay Wilder's knockout highlight reel with all type of means. So there's no doubt about it, Konoski, he's gonna have to work on his defense before he gets in the ring with Deontay Wilder. But there's so many great matches to make right now. I mean, Konoski versus Wilder, Konoski versus Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua. You mixing all these fighters up, there are some really good fights to be made in the heavyweight division. I'm looking forward to seeing them all. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now.